started what we call a boot camp. I'm Sergeant Nix, and this is my my Sergeant at Arms, Miss <laughs> Nix, right here. We want to really, it's personal development, you guys. We want to really bring it down to the level that you're being coached and you're being trained and mentored, your hands being held all through the process. In most businesses and network marketing, the biggest issue is support. They never get support from their online, their upline. What happens is people sign on a dotted line, they pay whatever it costs to get in, and you never hear from them again because they've already made commission off of you. They've already done all those things, and so now you're just the history. Uh, you're the next. They're looking for the next person, and like Steve said, we're always putting new people in, but we need to re cultivate the people that first believed it's not you're saved always saved but you you tend to go through things along the way that you have to renew your mind you have to renew your faith and this is where we're at it's your faith that's going to get you there just like he said it's by your faith that's going to that's going to heal you you have to believe that when you put that into your system that it does what it's supposed to do you have to believe that no matter what everybody else is saying you heard what eric said so i'm not going to go too long my wife she wants to get her 30 seconds in <laughs> So I'm going to go ahead and turn it over her. Let her get her. Because, see, they always save the best for last. So as you can see, I'm last. We last. No, I'm just playing. I'm just playing. All right, boo. Go ahead and get your 30 seconds. All right. Okay. Well, yes, yeah, Steve, that calendar that I purchased from, and I'm glad I only bought it from the Dollar Tree, is just a glorified notepad because it hasn't been turned in months. <laughs> <laughs> like we said, like last week, we talked about growth mindset, and you mentioned that again tonight. This is even what they are teaching the children in school. Their first part of their day is about having a growth mindset instead of a fixed mindset. So this is definitely the thing for 2020 across the board, whether it's school, business, or just your life in general. Growth mindset is where you have to transition to get yourself together. Um, yep, Renee, whenever I need help or need a question, I will text her and get an answer right away. So you guys, if you're out there and you need anything and text her, she is always quick to respond with a good, with, with some help for you. All right, you guys. All right. So tonight, what Eric said, Steve said, and before I even got on the call, I had already wrote it down and I showed it to my <laughs> wife. It's just amazing how we don't all collaborate this, this stuff page. and we all line up on the same thing. The very first thing I wrote down to speak to you guys is launching your business this month. Every month you should always be relaunching your business, relaunching your business. Get excited. You got to get that spirit back. Like when you first met your, your significant other, that honey, sweet honey, do whatever. When you met her, things in life is going to tear you down. The relationship, those things, but you have to find a way to renew that relationship to keep it interesting, right? The same thing in your business. If something's not working, you have to try something different. Well, that different thing that I think that I bring to the table and which I've been elected to do is social media marketing online marketing we're not going to get into a lot right now tonight because we're limited for time actually we're already over but we want to create an environment for you the group that eric has started we're going to have you come in and for you to participate there's going to be materials there but there's a technique that all the big marketers are using and it's called atm is when you get someone in you add them you tag them and then you send them a message okay so we're going to practice that we're going to show you how to implement it and we're going to see if we can get the same type of results because it's not that if this stuff works it's the question is are you willing to stretch yourself to work it my mentor and coach say he don't like social media well, my other mentor coach told me that if you want to win in this market, you better start doing social media. So whatever skill set you have offline, 
you take that and transition it online. And we're going to show you how to do that in some simple steps, how to get into the market and peak interest and add conversation and actually go into these groups and be able to facilitate reaching out and connecting with those people to start more conversation. Remember, you should be telling them why you are doing Life Vantage. It's great to speak the mitochondria and the 40% and all that, but I'm telling you, most people buy into people. Why did you do it? If you guys missed the boot camp, you did not hear my wife's why. So since she only did her 20 seconds, I want to give you her why tonight. Some of you guys didn't hear it because you wasn't fortunate enough to be a pro zero or pro two. Some of you guys was pro four, so you didn't get to hear what we was putting down. But I'm going to get her to tell you her why, and you want to develop your why. In conversation, you should have a long why, and you should have a short why. When, when Steve told you, what this business did for him and how it changed his life and how he got through that hard time, that was enough for someone to say, can you send me that information? He might not even told him about it's publicly traded. He might not even told him that we were number one in one of the categories that nobody else is in, but he told them why he decided to do this business. And that's why people are going to be attracted to you. You got to bring the energy and you got to really bring it down to the level that they believe in you and what you're doing. Uh, I'm, I, want, I got this one quote right here and then I'm going to let her come on and we're going to wrap it up real quick because we're going fast. Because like I said, I want to show you guys this social media. It's more over the shoulder and you want to go in there and do it and practice it. So next time we're going to try to get a little bit at the top instead of at the bottom. So watch this. A convinced mind is against his will is of the same opinion still. You are not here to convince anybody of nothing, okay? I listened to Taylor Worry on one of the uh, Team Heart calls, and he came on as a special guest. And his purpose was to tell you why he is here with Life Vantage. And he told you that. You don't convince nobody when you already know you got the Holy Grail. You should be expressing it. It should be out and exuding. Look, I don't know what you're doing, but I'm doing something that is revolutionary and you need to see this. I didn't say nothing, but my excitement says, bro, what you talking about? Send it to me. Well, look, you check this video out, and I guarantee you there's going to be something in there that probably is going to touch out, reach out to you, and get you really interested. Matter of fact, I'm going to follow up with you, and we're going to find out what three things you liked about that video. Watch, rinse, and repeat over and over again. I'm telling you guys, you got to bring it down. We're not selling. We're sharing. We're sharing our beliefs. We're sharing our excitement. We're sharing how we fell in love how you fell in love. Now let my wife tell you her story. And then when she tell it to you, you're going to say the same thing. Well, maybe I need to check out this company and this thing, whatever it's doing. If you haven't seen the video that Steve put together, you guys want to see it. And we're going to show you how to market it too. put it in the capture page and go through this social media and get it out and generate leads and get more people interested in what you're putting out. So without further ado, the next voice you're gonna hear is my Scooby-Doo, <laughs> Miss Nix. All right, so my why, like I said in our previous meeting, I was like the poster child for being daddy's girl. You couldn't tell me anything, nobody could tell me anything. I was daddy's girl, whatever I wanted, whatever I needed, daddy would get it for me. And my brothers used to, it used to drive them crazy. Well, my dad was turning 50 and every year he would say what he wanted for his birthday was a new Jaguar. So on his 50th birthday, he was getting his Jaguar finally. And he drove down from New York to Philly to come pick it up and stayed over at my house and it wasn't ready. But they delivered it actually on his 50th birthday. He got to drive his car that he wanted and then he had a stroke the next day. After, once he um, had his stroke, he was then finally diagnosed that he had congestive heart failure, which no one had ever determined before that point, which the stroke resulted in him passing away. 
So every year for the whole month of March for his birthday, I would have the funkiest attitudes ever for years. March, I kind of just zoned out, blanked out. I didn't really want to deal with anybody, anything. The whole month of March, from as soon as March came in and March went out, like talk to me in April. Well, 12 years later in March, I meet this one. <laughs> and he tells me the same thing. He, he has the same condition my dad had, the congestive heart failure. And when this was introduced to us, this was life managed was just like such a blessing because after I met him, then the month of March no longer was that sad time of the year for me. It was, it was always a happy time. And you know, you know us, we're always having a good time, no matter what day of the week, a month, a year or whatever. But just the um, Eric reaching out and telling him about this product and the products that we have has just changed our life. And I just love Life Vantage and my Life Vantage family. Yeah, absolutely. And, you know, we're not going to get in a bunch of testimonies either on here, like Eric said, but when I went through, I was, I was put into the heart transplant program, my wife, and they told me you will get a heart transplant. Everything that God has placed on this earth for us to heal ourselves. He said all the herb of the gardens was made for man to heal himself, but we're not seeking it. We're buying into what we've been told. And when they tell you that the door is closed, you don't even try to open it. I knew that I wasn't going to accept that. And I, Eric approached me and I got on the product. My belief, the first couple of months I hit Pro One, it was because I was blessed to be on a great team. I didn't have faith. My faith developed as, I, as my doctor started asking me, what are you doing? <laughs> my faith didn't change until they really said, we're going to have to take you out of this heart program because you're too healthy. Okay. My faith didn't change until they asked me to go to the heart failure uh, association and speak to those people. And they put me on a panel and all those people that I came into the program with either had a machine as their heart walking around with a battery pack or they had a transplant. I was the only one on that stage that didn't have a transplant. Mm -hmm. So like I said, you might have some friends out there, their wealth is failing, but if that's not enough to get them, you can guarantee that their health is failing. And if you're not trying to save more people and give them hope for tomorrow, then that is on us. And the only way they're going to hear about life vantage is through you. So if, you, if you're not having your faith renewed in this, then you're going to have to work now for the next month or so to get your faith back to where it needs to be. Because we got to stand on the battlefield if nobody else will. It is about the money, but it's not always about the money. You see, I want to be pro 10 and all that, but I want to do that because I told my wife, that they're not going to activate until we elevate. there's a lot of people, brown people, that should be here because our health, as statistics says, are the worst out there. So the only way they're going to believe is they're going to have to see two others go to the highest level, and then they're going to ask the question, what did you do, and how did you do it? And we're going to be able, that's our testimony is to speak to those people that now they're not even listening. They're chasing other stuff that they need to be fixing some of their health situation. And they wouldn't have to be inside the doctor's office. They wouldn't have to worry about a lot of stuff and they can get off a lot of these other things that's been afforded to them. So hopefully you guys come back, see us 